It might be scary, but I'll try getting through it. These are children who have scoliosis at a very early age, and it affects their lung growth. Uh, if their curve, if their spine is shortened because of scoliosis, or their chest wall is deformed, their lungs don't reach full development. And these are the type of children who can die early because of scoliosis. Now, I was first introduced to the University of Iowa Children's Hospital when Will was a newborn. At about nine months old, they discovered a lump on his back and figured out that he had scoliosis. Will started seeing Dr. Weinstein, and it was about at the age of five that they determined that the curve was too big and that they had to do something or it would impede on his lungs. So he had growing rods implanted at the age of five. So formally, when the other rods were developed, we would operate on the children and they would have to come back to the op room every six months to have another operation so that we could actually lengthen the rods to keep up with their growth. It becomes very traumatic for the children to come to the hospital every six months, have another operation. The development of the magic rods has allowed now for children to have them implanted, and once they're implanted, the lengthenings could be done in the outpatient clinic without them having to come back to surgery. So this gives the children the opportunity to have an initial procedure and then have the lengthening which keeps up with growth done in the outpatient clinic. And the opportunity to save a child six to nine operations at, at this uh, time of their life is pretty phenomenal and uh, we're glad we can make this technology available to children here in Iowa. These magic rods will save Will from several, several surgeries. It's going to be amazing. I wasn't quite sure how we or he would handle the rest of these surgeries every six months until we get to that point of the permanent rods. I'm very thankful. I just hope that all goes well. This is the magic rod. And what'll happen was when, when Will comes back to clinic, he'll have two of these, and with an externally applied device, we'll spin the magnet, which then allows the rod to grow. And now is the more difficult part, and that's contouring the rod to exactly the way it is the Will. Okay, this should do it that mom and dad know things are okay. What's next for Will is that he'll uh, stay a couple days in the hospital just to give his uh, wound a chance to heal. He'll, he'll use a brace for a couple of months just to protect the wound and let this new hardware scar in. Then in about three months we'll have him back in an outpatient setting and we'll do the lengthening. Uh, with the magnet and then continue that probably uh, three or four times a year just as an outpatient until he's around 12 years of age if we can and at 12 or 13 we will replace these rods with permanent rods which he'll then have the rest of his life and we uh, look forward to a good outcome for Will. Everything went perfect, it couldn't have gone better and uh, so we actually lengthened them more first. So, so we, before we took, put the magic rods in, we lengthened Will as much as he could tolerate. Um, and then we, once they're out to length, then we swap them out, holding that length. But everything went really well, no problems at all. And so we'll, we'll get you downstairs, and then I'll see you later this afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Dr. Weinstein, he, uh, his bedside manner is great. Will enjoys going down to see him all the time, which makes it a lot better and easier on us. He's a good one. He's the best one in the world. My hope and future for Will is that he stays healthy, and I know a big thing for him is he loves sports. With like football and wrestling, Will, he understands that he won't be able to play those sports, but he has a love and passion for basketball and baseball and, all, and other different kinds of sports. I don't think there's anything I could say great enough to show my gratitude 
in every department. All the staff that we've come across, one is just as great as the next. I'm more than thankful for everything that they've done for our family. Uh, we definitely, we wouldn't have Will here with us today if it wasn't for them.